Hi, my name is Terry, and today we are going to continue our exploration of gravity in space and gravity in musical tonality. We are going to explore Neptune's orbit through a musical piece by the composer Shostakovich. Throughout this series, we explored gravity in space. When an object moves through empty space, it moves in a straight line. However, massive objects like planets and stars curve space around them. Now our object also moves in a curved path around the object's curved spacetime. We began with Mercury's quick 88-day orbit and strong gravitational force, represented through Mozart's quick chord cycle with chords like the 4 and 5 chord that have a strong pull to resolve back home to the 1 chord. Then we moved farther away from the Sun to Mars. Mars feels less gravitational force from the Sun's curving spacetime and orbits much slower, 687 days to orbit the Sun. We heard a longer chord cycle, adding in chords that have a weaker pull in this piece by Handel. Now we are traveling to the outer edge of our solar system. Neptune is so far away from the sun's gravitational force that it takes 165 years to orbit one time around the sun. Wow, that is slow. In this piece by Shostakovich, we hear a very long chord cycle with many chords that do not have a strong pull back to the one chord. Notice how Shostakovich uses chords like the two, three, and six chords to create less gravitational pull. 